just exported a vlog. Today's the day of the show, but I wanted to get up early, get this knocked out, get part one. Uh, it's pretty much the seven days leading up to uh, the competition. So showing uh, workouts, posing, still working in the studio, uh, just the whole grind. So uh, exporting now, getting ready to upload, and then I will be getting ready, uh, my meals ready and everything, and head to the event. It's show day. Wish me luck, Barkley. It's show day. All right, I'm eating my second meal of the morning. It's weird because you guys know I've been fasting this whole time, but definitely got to get some food in me. Uh, so that way, whenever I start pumping up, I've got you know some carbs in me, some food in me. Uh, my glycogen is kind of restored and I can get a good pump for the stage. So uh, My first meal I had four egg whites and two pieces of toast and now I'm eating three ounces of chicken and uh, And about four ounces of white rice, so it's 10 o'clock I'll eat this now and then I'll have another one of these same bowls at around noon and then I've got uh, some rice cakes with a little bit of honey uh, before I start pumping up. I'll, I'll enjoy that. That's probably going to taste like dessert. And then go on stage, see what happens with that. Tonight, whew, about to feast. We're going to Red Robin tonight. Tomorrow I've got the whole day planned as far as food goes, hitting all of my favorite restaurants. I'll take you guys with me. And uh, it's gonna be a really good day. The Chiefs play. Oh, I'm so excited for it for that. So I uh, appreciate you guys rocking with me through this journey. If any of you guys are ever, ever, ever thinking about competing, definitely hit me up, and I'll give you guys uh, some tips um, and tricks that I used. I don't even know how well the tips and tricks that I have have, have worked because I haven't hit the stage yet. But we'll see how that goes. But. Um, yeah, I'm just doing this so that way hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, train anyone else that wants to compete. So, yeah, about to enjoy this food and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. So we just pulled up. About to get spray tan number two. One number two. Actually, coat number three because they gave me two coats yesterday. So, about to go get black. show is over and the results are in I got third place in novice second place in open category so really really close to qualifying for uh, a pro car just a few, so a few spots away from that so pretty cool for the first time um, but you know I'm really excited because it's time to eat let's go oh yes it's about to go down Hey, thanks. Uh, 
We both leaned away right when I took it. <laughs> I'm saying Jordan extravaganza day. Jordan food extravaganza day. How do you spell extravaganza? Did I spell it right? T R A V A N G. Extravaganza. <laughs> I think we're ready to order. <laughs> oh, we're not? It's not just me and you, you can't do that. Oh. It's pretty good. Really sad. And, I love and it's bacon, about I normally don't eat to more, go like, down. Half, like, I just want to... Ain't gonna happen. No, not ain't gonna happen. 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 I'll go. Nice. You guys say you teach together? Yes. Yeah. You just work out or are you going to work out? No, I just put this on. Oh. Oh, okay. What's up, Baxter? I told her like a but like a woman. So the Chiefs had to go ahead and ruin my Sunday. Been looking forward to this day for a very long time, and they had to f around and catch an L. So, um, yeah, that is what it is. Don't want to talk about it. Getting ready to head to probably Walmart. Pick up either Batman, Batman vs Superman or the new Captain America movie. I like them both. Don't feel like buying both right now. So, because uh, it takes me a long time to watch movies. Like, probably watch one tonight, and I don't know when the next time I'll watch a movie. But uh, yeah, gonna pick up one of those right now. You guys should comment down below, are you DC or Marvel? I I don't know. For me, I since I've gotten into vlogging and editing videos, I'm just like all about just um, you know the editing process and whatnot. To me, visually DC looks better, but the stories or but the action in Marvel is better to me. That's my opinion. Comment down below, what's yours? Forget JJ Watt since uh, he just manhandled our Chiefs, but we got a pizza going on. About to watch that movie. It comes back alive once you get to say what you feel just need a moment right there i feel like it comes back alive go mm -hmm. the curiosity is killing me impatience is my biggest and i'm seeing you know what i want what is on your mind so as you guys just saw really crazy weekend um we got back to work today Hit a pretty heavy leg day this morning and then I've uh, been in the studio tonight and uh, yeah it's just back to the grind back to work so I appreciate you guys I got a lot of snaps I got a lot of DMs over the weekend people just asking me you know how the show went or congratulating me if you already saw the results um, by the way if you guys don't follow me on social media it's just mixed by Jordan 
uh, on everything except for Facebook. Facebook is just my name, Jordan Criddle. But um, yeah, I appreciate all of the love I got this weekend. It was uh, pretty crazy and really dope to see you guys, um, you know, following along with that. I didn't show this in the vlog, but I, I didn't even vlog this. But before the show started, I was sitting out in the car finishing my last meal with Sierra and I was so nervous. I was like, like the thought of not even doing the show was going through my head and I, I was talking to her about it and I know she thinks I was just being crazy in the moment or whatever, but I was hella scared and to the point where I was starting to feel sick and I really was like, I do not want to do this. And, um, you know, whenever, whenever I have times like that where I'm like, you know, you got butterflies or just real anxious or really, really nervous for something, you get that way because you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. And if you guys follow me on social media, you see me post pretty often a quote that says, um, a comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. It's my favorite quote and it's the truth like every time that i step outside of my comfort zone take a leap of faith or whatever uh you know something good always comes out of it and not only does it benefit your life but it also helps inspire people who are also seeing that um so i just encourage you you know to find things that you know positive things that push your boundaries a little bit you know, we live in a world where it's really easy to just, you know, find a, a comfortable place and just be cool there. But, uh, you know, to me, it just seems kind of boring, like just go through the same stuff all the time and you never really find out what you're capable of. So, um, yeah, that this weekend, you know, it was not something, some world changing event. But, you know, for me and my little world, it's like, you know, just another step, another little milestone that something I could say I've accomplished. It I came a long way to be able to accomplish something like that. And, um, you know, I hope it helps inspire someone to also believe in themselves and do whatever it is that they want to do. So, uh, yeah, I just appreciate you guys rocking with me through all of that. And I will catch you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs>